What's up guys, my name is Chemos Chamander I'm from Infonix Videos and today I'm going to show you how to create a timer in WPF applications. So basically what we use is the Dispatcher Timer class. It's a uh, multi-threaded actually, it's not running on the main thread, it's a separate thread from the main thread which, uh, which leads its way for us to create some kind of a great software by using the multi-threaded applications. Top load. So let's go to the C-sharp code right here. So before doing that, let's go to the SAML. Sorry about that. Let's go to SAML first. And uh, under the grid, I'm going to create a label. Content equals of zero. Font family equal to some kind of a font. C G U I. Font size is equal to fifty to see clearly what we have and the horizontal content alignment is equal to center and the vertical content alignment is also equal to the center which makes this text is in the middle of the main window so that's basically it but to change this on code I need to give it a name so let's call it Time label and now it's okay now on the window right here on the window that's the main tag or the top level tag so I'm going to add the loaded with the new event handler now let's go to that code and we have the windows loaded method right here already created by the IntelSense platform right here on SAML so that is binded to the loading event uh, actually the loaded event in this main window okay on the window loaded I'm, in, I'm going to create a dispatcher timer now you're going to see that red cross around red online so uh, under the suggestions you have this one using the system dot windows dot threading because dispatcher timer the actual address of dispatcher timer is system dot windows dot threading dot dispatcher timer that's the basic class right there and if you use system dot windows dot threading you you can you can just call it dispatcher timer dt equal to new dispatcher timer and dt dot interval is equal to the interval that we that if you uh, previous uh, previously if you are on the previously on the Windows Phone's platform you may have heard of timers basically you use it for everything you, you use it for everything actually to create uh, animations you use uh, timers basically that's the simple tasks of timer but in the WPF platform you don't have to use timers to create animations because it is a built-in feature of WPF and that's what makes we allow WPF platform so the interval is is a time span equal to time span dot from seconds uh, for this thing I use one second only one second so if you, if you want some kind of a new thing from milliseconds or something you can use from milliseconds and those kind of things inside the time span class to create and uh, create a t new time span but they return a new time span so that's what they do so if you want to create a new time span just call new times time span on the constructor and there are five uploads you can even specify years if you want but that don't work in this case so we just need d dot start before that uh, that's no matter where the this code is tick plus equal to in visual studio you can just tab to insert that function and for this purpose I'm not going to do that I'm going to just to uh, write the code myself so so that will make easy for people who are using Visual Studio Code or Notepad Plus Plus wide of WPF applications. So anyway, the one that I'm going to attach this tick 
uh, Dick Delgate is uh, some kind of a thing called DT Taker and that's okay private void DT Taker object is the sender and event works as E so that's it and in this one I'm gonna create a private integer known as x oh, oh, increment increment is equal to zero and in this dt trigger I'm going to increment increase the increment back here increment variable so the label that I created is the time label dot content is equal to increment dot to string so let's see see how this works Now as you can see, the timer works really great and it is updating since uh, for every second. As you can see, it, it is a multi-threaded one. So the dispatcher timer is working really great and the tick method is called every time, the DT tick method is called every time in every second. So that's for me to do in this video guys, so thanks for watching, if you need some kind of a great videos like this. Uh, please feel free to subscribe to my youtube channel and if you want your friend to know this trick and create the software real great and share this video because sharing is caring